Hey, in today's video, I will show you how to do question answering with your second brain. And to be specific, I will use Obsidian as my second brain because that's the software I've been using for over a year right now. So if you're a Obsidian user, that's great. If not, you can probably use it for other second brain sources. Yeah, and that's going to be a short version. In my previous video, I showed you the step-by-step -step guide on how to how to do question answering over your documents. And in the, this one, it will be shorter. We will use a vector store index creator, which does most of the job in behind the scenes. But it's a really, really quick solution that gives I guess in many cases satisfying results so yeah let's just jump in as always we start with loading api keys and we'll need them for um, open ai api for vector embeddings and for querying after our large language model and then first thing i will load uh, nodes from obsidian and this is the uh, all we need to do we just load the obsidian loader and then give the path this is the path to my second brain and this is the path to my reference nodes which are my books they are here and there's 35 of them and then we use just uh, to get the docs we just call the loader and the load the load function and just uh, quickly show you that this is my obsidian. These are my all nodes. It's hundreds of them. So this is why uh, I'm not showing you this uh, project based on all of the nodes because it's too messy probably to, to show it. So I just use those reference nodes, which are basically nodes to the, uh, to the books, like you see, so book titles here. Yeah, so let me just uh, load all the documents. It takes a couple of seconds. And right now I, I will just show you first five, but uh, as you can see, there's 35 of them. And then for the first five, we've got basically like all information, like the whole content, the whole file is downloaded here. And just as an example, like my note for Atomic Habits, it looks like this and it's it's fairly long and as i said i've got 35 of those of this kind of uh, notes here uh, markdown notes so i've got really thousands of words in here uh, what i loaded and with this obsidian loader and just to give you uh, some more information like this is basically the first five docs and I'm just print, uh, printing the source, which are uh, the titles of my notes uh, corresponding to the, those one on the left side. Um, yeah, so once we've got them loaded in the, in the docs, we will create the vector database and by default it is in Chroma and I could actually just call this without any parameters this vector store index creator which we load from uh, from the lang chain but i just want to show you this uh, path that i will create this vector database in this uh, chroma folder under uh, obsidian and so let me just uh, just run it and it should take around 10 seconds, but uh, soon this Chroma folder, we have another uh, subfolder called Obsidian. Uh, yeah, it's there. And this Obsidian folder has SQLite database. So all we did actually so far was using these three lines of code to load our documents into this uh, document, Langchain document format. And then we created this vector database with these two lines of code, which uh, like in, in the background, which creates the vector, uh, the vector database that you've seen here. 
and right now we can like query my second brain and i've given you a short explanation of, of what's actually happening but i want to make this video really short that's why i'm not explaining it but uh, i just go straight to the querying and that's what i do i i ask the query what are four laws of behavior change and if you're familiar with atomic habits you know that in this book you'll find this information and then to get the answer i just call index which is my uh, vector store index creator and then i call this query with source with sources and the query and like i said i've got 35 books but I'm expecting uh, to get the answer from the atomic habit. And again, that's the answer I get. This is my question, the same as here. And then I get the source, which is atomic habits uh, .md markdown, which is basically this uh, note. And this is my answer. Four laws are make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy and make it satisfying. And just to quickly pull that out, four laws of uh, breaking a bad, okay, four laws of for creating a good habit, obvious, attractive, easy, satisfying. So it's found like from so many uh, from so many documents and so much text. It's found the exact place which I was uh, looking for, which is really already already amazing because we did it in just. I don't know, seven lines of code, I think. I just want to create this function so that uh, we've got our answer slightly better structure, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, like uh, for the rest of the video, I'll do always like the same. I'll ask the query and then use this index query of sources and the query and get the answer. But like this displayed without this dictionary. And my query right now is give me five key takeaways from $100 million, million dollar offers. So I'm expecting this source to be, uh, of course, uh, this, this book by Alex Hormozzi. And that's the, the books, so $100 million offers. And the key takeaways from this book, sell products based on value, not price. Focus on value you're providing, create the category of one, sell in vacuum, and three levels of success. Uh, of success actually market offer copywriting so sell products based on value uh, focus on the value so um, sell in vacuum create the category of one create the category of one so it it's found my my key uh, my most important lessons that i've added here and then uh, also this one so it's pretty much found my most important lessons and again, it's based on so many uh, notes and so much text. Uh, but let's see some limits. Mm. Uh, my another query will be what are 10 brain foods? And what I'm expecting here is uh, to go to the Limitless by Jim Quick and give me those 10 brain foods. Um, okay, let's run it. And brain foods include uh, omega-3. And this is the weirdest behavior I've noticed because the sources are like some weird uh, URL, URLs. And what's even worse when I click on it, uh, sorry, when I click on it, uh, this page doesn't even exist. So it's uh, not only has it made up the answer, I mean, it, it's not, uh, it hasn't found those brain foods. It, it's created some answer based on links that don't exist uh, so that's probably one of the worst answers and i'm just showing you to discuss the limits of of this approach and yeah let's let's stretch this a little bit more because like i said i was uh, hoping to see the answer from limitless so i've changed these queries uh, to add from limitless and the answer it's produced is based on limitless but also some more books and 10 brain foods from limitless are exercise nutrition sleep new learning 
and social interactions, interconnectedness, uh, which is not what I was expecting. I was asking, uh, asking for foods, not, not like uh, advice. And but when I go to when I write the next query, what are the pillars of healthy of a healthy brain? I'm expecting keep sharp because in this book, this is uh, the book about a healthy brain actually how to stay sharp even when you're very very old and it says the five pillars of the healthy brain are exercise nutrition sleep new learning and social interactions so those five things have somehow found its way to this answer about detained brain foods uh, and from limitless which is yeah, which is uh, which only shows how how poor this answer was, but this one is great, and so because that's exactly what I I was expecting, and I got the quick answer from my second brain. Uh, let's move on uh, to how to create wealth, and yeah, let's see what we've got. We've got the Naval because uh, this book is about being wealthy and happy, but. The first part is about uh, becoming wealthy and creating wealth involves finding and building specific knowledge, uh, building or buying equity in a business and finding a position of leverage. And if I go to that note for uh, Naval, and uh, let's see, uh, what was it? Specific knowledge. Yeah, so specific knowledge is like a big part of building wealth, according to Naval, uh, which is, which already shows how great this answer is. It's very concise and short, but it's it's found the exact place. Since we know about the uh, large language models hallucinations, let, let's run this query. What does Naval say about creating kids? Uh, and it's weird because it doesn't show me the Naval book, but it says the Naval Ravikant does not mention raising kids, which is which is nice because it's not trying to make up the answer like you know, like with this one, like it's made up some sources and so on. So um I like this answer better, but I wish it included this uh the the same book from Naval, but it didn't. Okay, I've got two more queries. Let's just quickly go through them. What is hedonic adaptation? And hedonic adaptation is a phenomenon in which we achieve your goals and feel unfulfilled and wanting more. And it's based on those books. And I think this answer comes from the gap and the gain, which is um, here. Uh, sorry. Ah, yeah, and I'm at uh, the hedonic adaptation. And that's exactly... Uh, so it's it's found exact place about where the hedonic adaptation is, and it's given me the answer based on that, which is really, really impressive, based on how much code we've used to do that. And just the last one, why most people aren't successful, and people are often unsuccessful because they are afraid to set unrealistic goals and they feel fa failure. Uh, and those unre unrealistic goals come from the 10x rule by Grant Cardone. And if you want me to... Yeah, that's, that's a, a, exactly this spot. That's it for today. You will find the link to the repository uh, in the description. You can just use the notebook as it is. And if you've got your own Obsidian uh, notes, you can, it is just ready to use for, for you. You only need to adjust the path here. And then, of course, ask your own queries. And yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from it and you find it useful. For more content like this, like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.